Hi everyone, I think we're live. Um, hopefully we'll see a few takers here. I'll give it a few minutes because, or a minute or so, I think I'm a little early. Welcome to Lectio Divina. This is our third week of using technology in these days of physical distancing. And welcome, whether you're watching live or if you go back and uh, participate later. Today, um, our scripture lesson will be uh, the scripture lesson for this Sunday, which is not uh, part of the lectionary, but very much ties into uh, Palm Sunday. So that reading is Revelation chapter 7, verses uh, 14b through 17. It's a smaller portion of the larger text that we'll use for Sunday. Welcome, Terry. Uh, great. It's right now just you and I, but that's awesome. So um, again, welcome to Lectio Divina. This is a time uh, where we read through scripture very intentionally, and I'll do so three times giving a space to ponder that text. And then if you desire uh, to uh, write your comments uh, in the, the comments here uh, in the uh, interactive place. Um, so I'm going to begin, uh, but first I'm gonna set the camera in a better place so that we can um, stare into a candle, which is very representative of Christ. And so I'm gonna, set that up here so come along with me and and today hopefully there's not as many technical glitches as last week So I like this candle and we invite God, the creator, the redeemer, and the sustainer to be with us, to speak to us, to uh, help us understand what these ancient texts mean for us today. The first reading for Revelation chapter 7. These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. I invite us to ponder those words and to carry with us whatever comes to mind, but let's take a moment to ponder. So I'll call us back um, into the conversation and we'll read this a second time. As we read it a second time, I invite us to listen for a word or a phrase uh, that catches you and or an image that might come to mind. 
And so here's the second reading of Revelation 7, verses 14b through 17. These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun shall not strike them nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd and he will guide them to springs of the water of life. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. I invite us to ponder that for a moment and then I'll call us back into conversation to share anything that you might like to. So let us ponder. Hey, okay, invite you to wrap up your thoughts. Is there a word or a phrase that catches you? Mm. For Terry, the word that jumps out is the word will. Will as a promise, certainty, but also a future. It's a message of comfort indeed. Um, Jan, who is actually me <laughs> because my phone died, the word that stood out for me is a shepherd. The Lord is our shepherd. Okay, we're going to read this for a third time and invite you uh, to listen and maybe the same phrases catch you or a different word uh, catches you, whatever that is. And then if you're willing, um, maybe there's some explanation or some thoughts as to why uh, that caught you, kind of uh, like... Uh, um, and Terry did that, that uh, message of, of comfort in the first one. But let us read Revelation 7, verses 14b through 17 uh, for the third time. These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. And the sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Invite us to take a moment to simply ponder, and then I'll call us back into conversation.
Okay, my friends, any new uh, phrases or words that uh, struck you or any images that have come to mind um, especially that might especially be lending themselves uh, to these days and how God might be speaking to you. I'm going back a little bit in the comments, and I see Peggy commented on the living fountains of water. Terry has talked about the night when life is good and when it is dark, like now. And for Julie, such a reminder today that we are in shelter and guarded. Such hope. For me, I've heard a number of personal stories of loss of loved ones. Um, and as difficult as that already is, uh, not being able to be uh, with uh, those who are still here uh, to comfort one another. And so um, I'm certainly struggling uh, with that, with you and those who are grieving. For now, my friends, um, I pray that we do take comfort in these ancient words that continue to speak to us and with us and through us. Um, as we turn from Lectio Divina, I uh, invite you into a time of prayer. Are there, are there things that you would like lifted up, uh, joys or concerns, and uh, we can pray for those right here. We pray. Gracious God, you promise uh, for no more hunger, no more thirst, for things not to uh, hurt us. And that promise is realized through your Lamb. Gracious God, we pray for all those who are grieving. We pray that you. Uh, not only wipe away those tears, but turn them into baptismal reminders that you are with, with us through all things. We pray for the, the glimpses of joy in the midst of uh, the craziness for all those who are helping, for the um, first responders, for doctors, and even grocery store clerks who are literally on the front line. Um, we pray uh, each day that we are able to find focus, to find uh, physical and mental and spiritual nourishment, um, and that we uh, hold with great anticipation that although Easter on the calendar is right around the corner, um, a full Easter celebration will come uh, each time uh, that we are able to gather together physically soon. So thank you, God, uh, for the hope in the midst of uh, these days. And 
May you bless uh, this world, bless us, and keep us in your peace. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Well, my friends, I sign off for now, and we'll see you for Palm Sunday uh, coming up soon. Take care. Bye-bye.